Hi there. So I'm a little late with posting my vlog this week, um, partly because I was trying to figure out how to show you floor plans on my computer. So I decided to do a Zoom call and record myself that way. I don't know. And then I can share my screen. I don't know if this will work, but there's probably smarter ways to do this, but here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, share my screen and voila. So hopefully you are now seeing a floor plan. So my dad did these floor plans um, and he's kind of broken them up just so we can see them. So this is the north west corner of the house. So, and this is the second floor. So here I'm just going to um, create a little square so I can use it as a pointer. Okay, there we go. So this is the master bedroom right here, um, my bedroom. And we've had, uh, I've had Tomas come in and he's been sort of destroying <laughs> the, um, the ensuite bathroom. Hi, Abigail. I make a video like this. Uh, your father can see how it's, it is. Hello. And like you can see, as you can see, I destroy the floor and we see downstairs there is a place like all this. It's maybe 40, 50 centimeters. He ender. We've got all the stuff for the water. So here's the crazy thing about this house. Um, the house uh, is really kind of two houses. And this part, which is sort of the back side of the house, is really the old house. And I believe this house, this part of the house was built in around the 1800s, um, probably right around the turn of the century. I'm not really sure. I'd love to find some actual history. But around 1900, um, Dr. Maron, um, mm -hmm. he is the one, I believe, that built the facade. So they put this big facade, which is the whole front part of the house. So on the ground floor, it encompasses the, um, the grand salon, the dining room, the bureau. And, and then on the upper floor, it contains all the sort of the larger bedrooms. So the master bedroom and all the bedrooms down the hall. And it's kind of why when you come up the, the, the stairs, that there's another step up to get to the hallway with the, the bedrooms. And it's because I think they wanted lar you know, uh, higher ceilings in the grand salons. And so they bumped up the ceiling height, but for whatever reason, they didn't bump up the ceiling height in the old part of the building. And so they just kind of created this step up and the step up continues up onto the third floor as well. So again, there's a step up in order to, to accommodate these higher ceilings that goes all the way up. So this means that in order to have created this master bathroom, they had to raise the floor of this bathroom up to meet the floor of this bedroom, because technically the bathroom is in the old part of the house and therefore the lower part of the house. So as Tomas um, took out the floor, we discovered that um, the floor was built up using these strange cement pylons built up as though it was like a deck or something. So not a normal way to raise a floor. Normally you would build, I think, um, you know, kind of like a wall basically against and, and nail it against the edges of the wall and then build in joist, joist, you know, joists to hold up the floor. So it's a very bizarre way that they have raised this floor. Anyway, all this to say that it's probably a good thing that we're taking this apart. I had a feeling that things are not, things have not been built well by the previous owner. And this is just one example. So um, it gives me an opportunity to kind of rearrange this, this whole bathroom. So I'm thinking I might move the toilet over to this corner and then, uh, then, you know, I can sort of extend this, 
the sink and have double sinks go all the way across this wall. And I think I'll just maintain the shower, but make it larger, make it take up a, a better portion of this wall. Um, I contemplated putting a bathtub in here, but I don't know. I feel like if I'm going to have a bath, I want a, a bath with a view. And this, this bathroom isn't going to have a window. So I don't know. It seems weird to put a bathroom or a, 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 a bathtub in into that room. Um, just because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it would be a fun place to have a bath. So I'll probably just keep it a shower. But I could potentially put a bathtub in this bathroom. So this is the pretty, kind of the prettier, one of the prettier bathrooms, just because it has the window. Um, and you know, if I kind of do my dad's plan uh, in terms of doing the uh, kind of rejigging all of the bathrooms, then I could potentially put a bathtub somewhere else. I don't know. Um, so when I originally bought this house, I was thinking that I would probably rejig all these bathrooms. And in doing so, it would give me the opportunity to sort of make this in this whole L shape into, um, you know, a, another bedroom bathroom ensuite. And this this um, area over here is the hall kind of, it's like a sort of like a dead space on, on one side of the stairway coming up and it has a window as well. So, you know, I could potentially take down this wall, create a wall over here and then make this a big bedroom and make this a big ensuite. So just one of the different ideas that I have. Um, my dad also, now I have to just switch screens. I have to stop my sharing. I've discovered the hard way. And then I have to reshare and find the, um, the correct. So this one now is, um, this is my daughter's room again here let me just get the uh my little pink square here so this is uh olivia's room oops it's doing kind of weird things um i'm gonna make it a little smaller there um this is olivia's room uh, my dad put in a fireplace there i think he feels there was one there but of course there isn't now i think originally that grand salon was originally two rooms and somewhere along the line they took out the wall in between the two rooms and i think there was a fireplace there was a chimney up there uh that went up all the way up through so uh anyway not there anymore so i don't know that i will be putting a chimney back here just because there I'd have to build a whole chimney all the way up through the house um which isn't going to happen so um I would, so my dad suggested, you know, making the ensuite for this room right here, carving it out of this sort of um, the Belmare suite, as I was calling it, um, or, or my, you know, my art studio, and then creating a bathroom for this room right here. Um, obviously, we'd have the same problem because, again, this is the old part of the house, so it's on the lower level. And so we'd have to raise the floor of this bathroom right here. Um, so I don't know, you know, maybe we make this whole thing, the bathroom for this. And then, you know, this kind of has a bathroom over here. But um, again, my dad put a chimney here that might have existed and might continue to exist. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to have to go and look and see if there's a chimney there still. I don't know. Anyhow, um, that is is kind of what I'm working with. So uh, haven't made any decisions on the kitchen yet, but um, I feel like since Tomas is working on this bathroom that I'm going to try and figure out what to do with it next. Um, so I've been researching flooring and things like that. It's really hard to do from afar. Um, I found a place that sells reclaimed flooring, um, which I'm thinking about more for the kitchen than for the bathroom, but could also use it in the bathroom. Uh, it's quite expensive, more expensive than I had anticipated. 
Um, but I'll uh, I'll put up some screenshots. So it's just things I'm thinking about for the kitchen. So I've been working on that. Um, I have filed <laughs> I have filed my business plan and my plan for um, for the chateau and the retreats that I'm planning to have with a government entity, which I guess evaluates the real and here I'll stop sharing my screen the real and the real and serious nature of my project and once they do that then I get a certificate and with that certificate I can then um, apply for the visa and hopefully get a um, an interview at the consulate which uh, my cl the closest consulate to me in Seattle is in San Francisco. So I've been kind of holding off trying to determine when I'm going to come back because it's kind of all dependent. I don't want to go to France and spend all this time and then have to come back just for the interview. Although maybe I could. <laughs> I just kind of like, I don't know the timing of things. So I'm hoping to get this certificate maybe by the end of this month, December. Um, so I'm hoping that by the by January, I will kind of have a better sense of timing and then I can kind of make a plan. So my hope is that I can still get there for, for March, um, but we'll see. Maybe it would be sooner. I don't know. Um, or maybe I just go and, you know, just plan on coming back when I know I'm going to have the interview. So... These are all the decisions, but for now I'm here for the holidays and obviously I would want to be here for the holidays. I want to be with my family for the holidays, so that will be fun. And that's where we're at. So I just wanted to give you a little update. That's kind of where my mind has been going um, while I've been here, just trying to do what I can from afar. And um, Tomas has been awesome and kind of working to keep things moving and rolling along. And uh, he sent me pictures of the uh, ginkgo tree. It turned bright yellow and then within a day dropped all its leaves. And so just made this, this sort of lawn of yellow leaves. And, um, and the, little, um, the little spring with the, the kind of um, the fountain, I don't know what you call that. Um, the pool in front of it is all filled with water. So it's kind of cool to see. He sent a picture of that. I wish I was there to see it in person because it would be so cool. I want to see the pools filled. So anyway, that's where we're at. And um, yeah, a bientôt.